this is Nick Peters with Comcore's video blog, What Were They Thinking? When the Wall Street Journal quoted a New Balance executive as saying the Trump administration was going to move in the right direction, the comment was referring to opposition to the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or TPP. The athletic shoe company, which is the only one that still makes its shoes in the U.S., has long opposed TPP. But within 24 hours, the company was under attack from both the left and the hard right for the quote. Liberal social media posters attacked New Balance for supporting what they called a racist president. Some started a boycott campaign, others set their shoes on fire and posted pictures. On the opposite side of the spectrum, a neo-Nazi blogger jumped into the fray proclaiming that the quote showed that New Balance was, quote, the official shoe of white people and should become part of the white supremacist uniform. New Balance issued a statement that it does not endorse Trump's more controversial positions, opposes TPP so there will be more U.S.-based jobs, and opposes all forms of bigotry and hate. What were they thinking over at New Balance when they were interviewed by the Journal? Obviously not that they would be associated with Trump the candidate instead of support for his position on one issue, TPP. It's a cautionary note for consumer brand spokespeople in today's volatile political environment. Try not to invoke a politician by name in a statement or quote, stick to commenting about the issue or your position. Sound bites taken out of context can come back to bite you. For Comcore, I'm Nick Peters. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.